There's just a lot at stake here, you know? We're talking nation versus nation, and the race is still on. There's lots to discover out there, man. I guess the call came in on a Friday. Nate and I were at Ben's for a barbecue. Um, just a few beers, you know, maybe more than a few. With Ben's cooking, you definitely need a few. Nate took the call, it was Milton, and Milton said, um, 18 was back on. But it was, uh, classified, DOD, top secret. Asked, uh, you know, are you okay with that? And it was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I come from a family of military pilots. Duty can sometimes outbalance a private life. Make choices, keep moving forward. NASA already has something like 800 pounds of rocks, so why we need more, I don't know, but hey, if it means a trip to the moon. Placing cameras, we got these Westing houses all over the place. Well, I think the way it's being explained is they're using a Saturn V to launch a classified DOD payload, uh, which is meant to be very large, very heavy, and uh, apparently unmanned. Apparently. Placing these high frequency transmitters, part of some early warning anti missile defense system against the Soviet Union. These PSD 5s are kind of like high tech radar scanners. They should pick up and track anything we can't. Gotta keep a little eye on the Russians there. Would have been nice to tell my wife. Or had been by my side the whole time, and uh, she thinks I'm off doing a training exercise with the Japanese Space Agency. Ryan. My boy, I don't know he's telling him his old man's going to the moon. I would have loved to have brought him a souvenir, maybe a moon rock. I don't know, maybe one day. Ben was always first in class, and I was always right at his heels. Yeah, I'll admit, I'm a little jealous that he'll be moonwalking with Nate while I'll be all by my lonesome pilot in the orbiter. My job is essentially to make sure I bring us home safely. Look, let's face it, these missions are result-oriented, and, uh, we can't afford to fail here now, can we? Things can't go wrong, things do go wrong, it happens, but you, you just gotta push that out of your mind. It's just not an option. I'm proud to do it for these guys, and I'm proud to do it for my country. on the moon and you get to be number 13. How you feel about that? You gonna be okay with staying behind, John? Oh, you know, it'd be nice to have some alone time it's getting crowded in here. I'll keep a light on for you, boys. Don't stay out too late now. In a couple of days, partner. Roger that. See you in a couple of days. Now you boys be careful down there. 
two, buddy. Got a good visual. Okay, 18, you are go for land. We're go for the moon. 1,400 feet. 44, down. Looking good. Down to 1,000 feet. Right on profile. 54 LPD. Dropping on 700 feet. Down 20. Looking good. Mission lap time. Four days, six hours, 33 minutes. Roger. Leveling off. Take her down. I'm gonna have to land long. Where? Over that next crater. 12 o'clock. Up to the rim. It's a pretty rocky area. Mark it. 430 feet. Down 15. 25 forward. Right, forward. Houston, we have a program alarm. 1201. You are going to 1201, Liberty. Roger. Go 1201. Liberty, position vector mark 18. Watch for a suppression booster. You want to think about revisiting that approach? Negative. We'll miss our window. Those boulders are the Some booster is on my Three, two, two one, mark. Liberty status. We're coming in too fast. Liberty, you stay alive. Liberty to Houston. Range is long. Going manual. Contact light. Stand by for T1. Stay, no stay. Engine arm off. Stay, stay for T1, Liberty. Houston, you give that man a cigar. From up here, that looked very pretty. Excellent touchdown. Oh, you talking to me or Nate? Well, I'm talking to you both, man. December 25th, 1974, MET. Four days, nine hours, 23 minutes. Commander Nathan Walker. DOD, mission report 1A. We're day one of our two-day mission, prepping for EVA-1. And payloads. This is Thomas Young at Apollo Mission Control. In addition to the Mauer 16 millimeter cameras, Copy, is Mauer. looks like five reels, 10,000 feet Kodachrome. Houston, we are prepped for EVA 1. Copy, Liberty, you are go for cabin B press. Button up good, boys. We don't want anyone catching cold. Right back. Can I check me over? Help the fear a little smaller. Check my foot. Freedom reads you loud and clear. Liberty, over. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Call that a salute? Okay, let me get a shot of you with a lamb in the background. That looks like a Navy salute to me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta get this. Promised Lauren Ryan and spend Christmas and Christmas with us. This is all going back to the Department of Defense. No one's ever gonna... Completing Westinghouse setup. Sounds good, Nate. Standing by. Motion sensor is tracking you perfectly, Nate. Captain Video says first round is on him when you get back. Checking the payload in the Macy unit. I'd like to get a fix on the interference. Roger, Nate. 
take a look at that. That makes you think, doesn't it? Damn, it's dusty. I'll leave the camera up here so you can get a better view, Tommy. Careful now, fellas. You drop into any of those craters, you'll get cold in a hurry. PSD-5 in place. Right. Did you record the signal frequency on the PSD-5 during training? It was Alpha, wasn't it? Thought it was. I think they changed it. So that's for coordinates. 48.3 on the Z and 89.8 on the Initiation sequence complete. You still got some noise on the high gain again. Collecting geological samples near what appears to be an uh, impact crater. Sample feels uh, strange. Great to get out of that gear. MET, four days, 14 hours, 48 minutes. Commander Nathan Walker, DOD mission report three, Charlie. Day one, EVA one complete. Oh, I'm starving. What's on the menu tonight? Carrots or peas? I'll take carrots. No, get the peas. Perfect. I'm mighty proud of you, boys. You have a good time out there? You know I know. I'm getting a lot of noise on this frequency. I'm gonna see if I can isolate it, maybe clean it up a bit. Beverly's in a panic because a hair appointment ran over. Stan and Gene are already over, and nothing's ready, so I offer to help cut all these jalapenos. A couple of minutes later, I'm in the bathroom taking a leak with all this jalapeno nonsense on my hands. Next thing I know, my crotch is on fire. <laughs> right, so I'm in the bathroom, hollering in pain. They can hear you. Oh, oh, they heard me. And Stan's wife's a nurse, so she sends me back into the bathroom with a cup of milk. Nate, I gotta stop you. You're not about to tell me that you dipped your balls in a glass of milk. Hey, don't knock it. It works. <laughs> Jalapeno dick. I can't believe you haven't heard that story. Beverly back in Miami? Yeah, so I hear. You realize she divorced you because you snore, right? I don't snore. Yeah. Uh, ah, every time. You right, Benny? Yeah, I'm good. You bang your head? Again. It's a big head. Thanks for the housekeeping, guys. Great first day. Let's go over Mary Mount. Good night, JD. Never should have told you that. You little prick. Mm -hmm.